uh, our topic now is how to make the rectangle selection with measurement. Right? Just I'm scribbling on the screen, but yes, I hope you can get us so, that. Oh, we have done free hand drawings and all things. That's nice. But let us take one example, one question and one answer. If the client asks, uh, make the select, make the canvas to divide into two parts and fill two different colors. This is what the requirement. Then instantly you can go for selection, control A. It select all the things, give a right click and switch to the option called transform selection. Yesterday also we have learned how to make this option to get activate. But here we'll be learning like how to get 50% of the things. So on the width you can find here, percentages are there. Width and height with percentage. We need this width to get 50%. Then uh, we can make this width to turn into 50%. But what will happen, it will make from this side 25%, this side 25% to get down. So together 50% will get down. So let us see the practical and see. What happened? It has made this side 25 and this side 25 and altogether 50% get up. But we need it to be get done from right side 50% to be up. Then so we can yeah. move the same big side. Ah, we can move it. Very, very nice the logic. But while moving, it may go one pixel here and there. Wrong may be happen. So you can, there is a button over here. Can you see? This is called reference button. And you can shift the reference button to the left side and do the same action. Now let us make uh, the same thing once more. Right click and switch to the option can transform selection. Make this reference point to go for left side. So that action will be happening to the right side now and make the words to turn into 50%. Does it okay? So now we have yes. seen how to make the canvas to get down 50% because client will talk in this land. And let us fill the color. So what are the events we have done? Step number one. After selection transformation. Selection. Transformation. The right click selection transformation. Step number one, we have changed the reference point. Change the reference point. Am I right? What is the reference point? On the option bar, we do have a box like symbol on the top, and it does have nine point by default. This center will be active. We can shift to this side. Why to shift this side? To get the accent to be happen, not from this side, from the other side, it will get 50% off. That's why we are making this to shift to the left side. By default, it will be in the center. So if it is center and we are making 50%, then in both the side, it will do the accent. So hope we have understood the explanation, what is called reference point and why to change the reference point. And the second accent, make the width to turn into 50%. On the option bar. Where these are the things in the option bar. So hope all the theory clear. Yes. <clears throat> now let's come over here and fill the color. How to fill the color? Already have learned. Right click fill and get it done with any color you want. Great. Now, how to activate this uh, transform selection? Now, the client is asking, make this 50% to be red color. Then what to do? Give a right click and go for selection transformation. Or else, where is the option of selection transformation? Inside the menu bar, select transform selection. Get it active. But how to do it active without clicking, clicking? 
we can switch to the option called alt s for what selection menu get open t for transform so hope you can see how does the transform get activated without right click without click change the reference point to the down because you need to get it down from the top side so the down reference point to be get fixed up now what is to be touched here the height part how much to be done 50 percent job is done press the enter now how to activate the fill to activate the fill again right click fill it takes more time just press the backspace and find out the fill button while the selection is there your backspace will behave just like a filler button if backspace is not there like if your selection is not there backspace will not work for fill if selection is there if you're hitting the backspace then fill command will get open it save your time that is what my concern go for okay job is done so now we have seen how to split the screen into equal part is it okay now yes sir. now if the client is asking to get this part to be divided into two then what to do control a and this part means what this is 50 percent this is 25 percent hope the math is clear alt s t change the reference yes. to the right side and get the words to turn into 25 percent and fill it up with another color backspace you can already use choose the color get it okay is it okay now so in this this 25 percent to be get depends the what is to be done in white color only the upper 25 percent to be get filled so let us select this area how to select the area now alt s t you can change the reference to the left side and give a right click and switch to the option called flip horizontal so exactly it picks over here flipping horizontal and now alt s t and get the reference point onto the top side and get the height to turn into how much 25 percent and turn the color by the big space switch on to the required color and get it okay so hope we have understood now how to split the screen with uh, a math but we have started of working with the percentage now and yes from all the sides it is to be get down then how to do alt s t and get width and height to link up now what you are learning how to link up the width and height if you are changing the width then height also to get changed then you can start working with percentages hope it is done width and height together get down with percentage not by numbers percentage wise so it may go big it may come less because the width and height is uh, developing or reduced by the percentage format if it is 20 then 20 by 5 percent if it is 10 10 by 5 percent now fill it up with white color so how to fill yes backspace choose your color white and black are already available get it done so hope we have understood now how to get a multicolor like bounding box on screen with a proper division now same alt st and get the link button on and start scrubbing here on the width or height you can see there's a scrub button activate that means you can slide and you can see the value get changed without typing or without feeding the number get it okay and make the stroke to activate how to activate the stroke alt e s hope you can see hot key how to deselect control d is it okay yes sir. so now what we have seen how to make a innovative bounding box because of the percentage math this is another way of getting the same selection to get used in a innovative manner
So this is the output we have done. Next. Okay, it's very nice uh, till the time we are making horizontal, vertical. Now we'll switch something into the angular format. How to start up working with the angle format, right? So control V, select all, alt S T, transform it up, get it link or unlink it and get words to be down. Okay, words. Next, start covering the angle part. Okay, alt S T and get the angle. Use the shift button and scrub. like while scrubbing, it will go less. But if you're holding the shift button and sliding and in the icon, then it will move to uh, a bigger rotation. Is it clear now? Yes. Fit the number by zero. So it comes to the neutral states. And let us do some design. Press the enter and make a stroke and alt st make it uh, like 15 degree okay 25 degree press the enter alt s alt st by default it comes to the zero stairs so at this point yes we need to get the bigger number because 50 already 15 already we have done or 25 i can go for 50 now there is 15 and 30. so the match is working then alt s t and get 30 plus 15 45. Oh, check like Twenty five, it is putting here, but uh, I missed the math and to do it a math. Alt yes. So, hope we have understood how to rotate these direction with a proper degree. How to fill the color if you don't need this how to fill the color white color by the backspace search into the white getting it okay but now learn a new thing uh, in photoshop on the toolbar we can find two colors here in the toolbar at the down we can find two colors the uppermost color technically called as foreground color and the down box color technically called as background color so hope we got to know two technical term today what are those foreground and background in the toolbar what is there in the top color that is called fg or foreground in shortcut fg exactly the same way the below color technically called as background color and it is in short form bg color by default it will be in black and the background in white by default but we can change the color by clicking over there we can get a color window where you can change the color so two technical terms fg and bg will be talking in this language so filling the background color on the screen. How to fill the background color on the screen? It can be done by a keyboard shortcut, control backspace, CTRL plus backspace. So it immediately fill the background color. Exactly the same way, Alt plus backspace 
So to fill the foreground and background color, we can use this keyboard shortcut. So check to the screen, Alt backspace, Control backspace. What happened? Fill the foreground, fill the background. Is it clear now? Is it okay? Yes. Fine then. So hope we have understood now how to instantly fill the foreground and background. Black and white is there on your hand without right click, without fill command, opening, filling, clicking, you can fill it up. So let us see what more we can do. Drag it up. Fill the Okay, the topic was how to make the selection in calculation. Uh, now, we have done this selection or a smaller selection and we want to make the size to get increase. Yes. As per the percentage into constant, over. But, but if you need to go for like uh, sizes, then we need to open the ruler. Ruler is Again, a helper to the design, which is there in a few minutes. So this is a place where we can able to find the ruler and ruler is there with a unit. Give a right click on this, then you can see different kind of units are there, inches, centimeter, millimeter, and you can see all the things in that unit. Give a right click, centimeter, millimeter, okay? So now a different, uh, tool get open. What is the tool name? Control R. And Control R is for what? A ruler. Let us note down. Next thing we have open, CTRL plus R. Hot key of the day. A ruler. Where is ruler inside the software? Inside the view main ruler. And ruler can be customized to any unit you want. Centimeter, millimeter, inches, so all these unit setup are there. Now, the next, we can open the grid line. So that will guide us proper. So go to the view, show the grid. Then it will start helping us to do the things with measurement. Now, how to customize the grid? So what is the next thing we have learned now? Show the grid. Where it is in the view menu. In the view menu, where in the show button. Inside the show grid. Control and comma. So on your screen, you can get a on-screen keyboard now. Which button? Control and this button. Beside to the enter. It will open the grid and it will hide the grid. Exactly the same way. It will open the ruler and hide the ruler. So the next keyboard shortcut we have learned, CTRL plus comma, beside to the enter, grid on and grid off. All the things are there in the view man. Now you have understood how to customize the unit setup of the ruler, but how to customize the unit setup or the distance in between the grid, it can be done inside the preference menu. Edit and switch to the preference. Control K is the keyboard shortcut. Here we can able to customize the grid calculations. There is a special option called grid. Here we can tell how many lines we need in which unit setup. Let us go for inches. So here we are asking to the software in one inch by one inch we need a grid and that box to be divided how many times it can be mentioned. This one inch by one inch box, we can ask to divide two part. Yes, it will give you subdivision of two part. So what we have understood here, how to control the grid, where to control the grid. And what is the keyboard shortcut? CTRL plus K, preference window. Preference, where is preference? is there in the edit menu. Inside the edit menu, we find the preference, which is control K is the hot key. Here we can find the grid setups. And grid setups does ask two things. With what unit, how many grid, 
and each grid should be divided how many part this is called subdivision subdivision and this is your number how many number of uh, like in units are in one inch or two inch you want unit set of inches then one by one inch or two by two inch or three by three inch we need a single grid box that we can have to mention here after mentioning that again you can divide each box to how many part each box can be divided into two part or three part that should be mentioned here so at what unit one box to be created and that box to be divided by how many numbers that is decided by subdivision so this is a point to note on because everywhere number are there what is this number what is this number if it is clear then it's okay now we have understood how to generate a grid with calculation inches centimeters or pixels or percentages you can see there is a unit called pixel and percentages this is different calculation percentages means where percentage is used let us take a case okay let us start understanding with inches and we need that inches not to be get subdivided so make the subdivision to be one only one box only now let us make the selection with measurement now one inch by one inch box this is one inch by one inch box but now you can see the problem here what is the problem while you are selecting it moves here and there exactly not matching to get rid of this problem they come up with a solution that is called view and snapper what is this called snapper yeah. more important control shift semicolon so next things to get use control shift plus semicolon just beside your enter button the mark is there beside to that it is there this is called snapper button snapper where is snapper in the view menu because where is inside the software that is to be not what it does it attract the selection to the grid point not only grid point like point like any object heads and all things so let us switch on this snapper on and to whom it need to snap it is mentioned here to grid layers all these things are there uh, that could be snapped up this is what the software is mentioning over here now let us do the same selection what is happening now the time we move near to this it automatically attracts can you see does it visible hello yes sir. so what we have understood here how to make a selection error free exactly 1 inch by 1 inch selection is there on your screen now can i also add up more and start filling the color so how to fill the color black to be get fill so instead of filling in the right click we can directly fill now from the foreground just now we have learned alt backspace is to fill the foreground color so hold the alt button and hit the backspace what we have seen the foreground color has been placed here is it clear now yes sir so now we have seen how to make a box with mathematics with calculation now the client may ask you to get a box to be placed here like a yellow color in the center of the black color box then what to do do the same job control k open preference window then after ask the software to go to the grid and here we need how many division to find the center 1 2 3 division right you can write yes. if it is 3 division then you can find the center now we have got the center yes drag this and drag this by the addition we already known what is addition now it is a time to fill the yellow color so it can be done by right click and fill or backspace by fill or else 
in the foreground you can just have a click then color picker will open you can choose the yellow color first then click over here so before it was black now it is yellow it is showing inside the color window picker it will show you two thumbnails what it speaks it is telling like before it was black new is yellow if the new color comes here then only you can go for ok let us take once again we have choose the yellow so by choosing this yellow we cannot only tell like yellow camel because new is black only that means we have choose the color but we have not pointed out if the pointer is here we need to switch, shift to the here then it is yellow camel go for ok foreground now yellow how to fill the foreground just now we have mentioned we can fill the foreground by the help of alt backspace now start using this alt backspace to fill the yellow color on the screen alt backspace not control backspace alt so hope we have understood how to use the grid lines to make the measurement proper making logos and everything will be very faster now now is it clear yes anyhow it is in record you can see the video now making this just a minute photoshop get uh, stopped the system get hang now